This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And syempre, napakadali rin mag-sign up since you can just sign up using your social media account or Google account or manually uh, sign up sa kanilang website. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. And yes, there are a lot of payment options using your credit card, debit card, via PayPal account or uh, if you have a PayPal account like uh, mine, yun yung gagamitin natin. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at nandito na ulit tayo with the 3300X. Salam kung maraming excited sa atin. Even me, sobrang excited ko nung ginagawa ko itong uh, benchmark uh, with this uh, 30K plus PC build. Pero syempre marami akong finiture na mga video cards dito. Nag-focus muna ako sa CPU which is uh, yan naman talaga yung pinaka-topic ngayon the 3300X processor uh, with the uh, uh, couple of video cards compare ko yung mga iba't ibang processors like Intel Core i5 uh, yung 10th gen na pinakabago and then of course yung kanyang katapat in terms of pricing which is the Ryzen 5 2600 and then the 3500X uh, processor which is uh, yun yung pinaka base model na Zen 2 processor and of course yung kanyang kasabay na 3100 so bakit ito yung mga processor na ginamit ko mga kaibigan uh, may mga reasons akong ibibigay sa inyo mamaya during the discussion why walang APU uh, maybe soon in the next videos gagamitin po natin yung mga APU na i-compare din natin dito pero may mga nangyari po during the benchmarking time kung bakit uh, sa next na lang na video ko ipapakita to as of now since ang uh, gagawin po natin is an initial review and uh, of course a uh, preview of a PC build na worth 30k plus to 40k plus depende kung anong ibibuild mo pero I think that is the sweet spot bracket pagdating sa pagbibuild ng 3300X na processor plus of course dito sa video na to ipapakita ko is uh, more on the real world performance kasi marami na po tayo mga nakitang benchmark initially so ang papakita ko dito is uh, the gaming performance of this uh, processor the uh, 3D rendering for those engineers and architects then uh, video rendering capability of this processor how will it perform with the uh, Adobe Premiere and lastly of course marami kasi naghahanap sa akin ng mga worth 30k plus na streaming build and eto nga yung isa sa mga option na pwede kong i-consider in terms of streaming and dun natin kinilatis how will this processor performs in terms of streaming now of course to keep posted for more 3300X isa pa lang to mga kaibigan there are more videos na i-upload ko in the future feel free to subscribe dahil ipapakita ko rin soon how will this perform in terms of uh, naka-overclock siya kasi as of now PBO pa lang po yung in-enable natin and of course the uh, core performance boost pero soon marami pa po tayong ipapakita na features ng 3300X with different PC builds Okay, so syempre wala nang paligoy-ligoy mga kaibigan for the step-by-step -step guide on how to build a system unit like this meron akong 30k plus PC build sa baba na nilink which is a step-by-step -step guide pinakita ko dun talaga kung paano mo i-put together ang isang AMD system unit and it's also a 30k plus PC build na na pwede nyo ring i-consider aside from this video na ipapakita ko sa inyo so depende na lang kung anong pipiliin nyo between sa dalawa Anyway, uh, before we will proceed sa benchmark Ang case natin is a uh, Techware uh, M series. So we have a uh, design like this of Techware with the M2 and the M3. And then uh, of course meron siyang kasamang tatlong fans, stock fans. And then uh, the video card is a uh, RX 5500XT yung nakakabit as of now. Pero of course during the benchmarking time, nagamit ko rin tong mga video cards. So malalaman niyo po yan mamaya during the discussion of benchmarks. And then uh, the processor 3300X and then the motherboard is an ASRock Steel Legend and then the, for the RAM it's of course the brand new uh, bang for the buck marami naghanap ng Vulcan Z pero kung naubusan kayo ng Vulcan Z you may also consider this new RAM with a more beefy heatsink which is the Dark Z Alpha so yan po yung ginamit natin na RAM and then for the power supply is of course the 80 plus uh, rating HV Pro 550 watts from FSP so syempre dahil nga 
pagdating sa mga budget talaga, if you are looking for a branded power supply, FSP is one of the go-to brand. Alright, so alamin na natin how this processor performs in terms of gaming. And the first game na binanchmark po natin is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And dito makikita natin mga kaibigan na pumapangalawa po siya sa Intel Core i5-10400 which is uh, at around 10K plus po yung Intel and this is just around 6,000 plus. So in terms of price performance ratio, lamang na lamang po talaga siya kasi ang kanilang FPS difference is one point lang naman which is hardly noticeable in terms of gaming kasi nga ika ko nga mga kaibigan, processor is more on the rendering side. So the big player talaga pagdating sa gaming is the video card. Pero ayun, benchmark won't lie if we want to get the benchmark in terms of numbers and we want to get the accurate uh, numbers talaga. In terms of more stable or frame times, dito nagkakatalo dahil nga meron po siyang 37 FPS in terms of 1% low which is uh, dun po siya uh, medyo naging inferior sa Intel dahil 4 cores lang po siya compared sa Intel na 6 cores and of course 12 threads. So dun po nagkakatalo pagdating sa which is more stable in terms of gaming ito bang uh, Intel or itong AMD 3300X. Pero yun yung mga kaibigan if you are considering price gaming wise I think the 3300X is the winner here. And then followed by the Call of Duty Warzone. So it's a CPU intensive game uh, RAM intensive game. Ito yung isa sa mga recent games na sobrang lalamunin talaga yung uh, resources mo. And uh, here, makikita natin that uh, almost on par lahat uh, with the 2600 and then uh, yung 3500X and uh, 10400 are higher by uh, 1 FPS. The same with the 1% low and the average FPS. And then dito naman sa GTA 5, dito natin nakita that the uh, 3500X is superior which is uh, medyo shocking dahil uh, the 10400 is inferior sa 3300X actually ito yung benchmark na sobrang inulit ko ng ilang beses and uh, sobrang nagkaroon ako ng doubt sa sarili ko na teka lang parang mali yata tong ginagawa ko is there something wrong with my configuration and of course uh, makikita mo yung 10400 inferior sa 3300X Kung dikit na mas mataas yung 10400, acceptable yun eh. Parang pwede mo sabihin na, okay, it's close match. Pero kung makita mo yung 10400, inferior sa 3300X, 4 cores versus 6 cores, 12 threads versus uh, 8 threads, sobrang uh, layo. Parang specs-wise on uh, paper, dapat yung 10400. Pero yun nga, IPC-wise and of course, uh, architectural-wise, talagang lamang din naman talaga itong 3300X and dito nga sa GTA 5 nag-reflect yun dito natin makikita that the 3300X is now performing and it's really very unacceptable uh, benchmark kung tutuusin kaya ang ginawa ko nag-check din ako sa mga reviews ng iba talagang napasilip din ako sa mga reviews ng iba kung uh, same din ba ang kanilang result and on stock same nga the 3300X is performing better compared sa 10400 pagdating sa stock configuration. Kung meron mang siguro mas mataas ang kanilang result, maybe because of the RAM. The RAM may dictate the changes kasi. Pero pagdating kasi sa gaming in terms of CPU benchmark, mga kaibigan, talagang maraming factors na pwedeng makapekto, lalong-lalong na kung magkaiba yung platform. Uh, ang ginawa ko naman kasi dito, I went for the more realistic side, which is I just used 450 for the uh, 3300X. Kasi wala namang sigurong bibili ng X570 for a 3300X. I-invest mo na lang for a higher processor. At the same time, with the 10400, of course, I will not be using the top-of-the-line motherboard for that uh, processor. I will just use the more realistic uh, motherboard, which is the B460. And of course, RAM is the same. So, uh, ganun po yung ginawa kong benchmarking dito. Kaya, uh, may mga cases na pwedeng yung sa iba, the result will be higher pagdating sa 10400. Pero marami po talaga ako nakita din na pagdating sa paggamit ng 3400 and 3300X comparison. And then here is the shadow of the Tomb Raider. Dito makikita natin that the 3300X is performing better in terms of average FPS. Pero given that this is a CPU intensive game, makikita natin that the 2600 got a more stable FPS compared sa 3300X. Makikita natin dito na 47 yung 3300X and yung Ryzen 5 2600 na meron lang siyang 98 FPS average mas mababa sa 104 average ng 3300X meron naman siyang mas magandang 
59 FPS na 1% low. Ibig sabihin yan mga kaibigan, mas stable yung FPS mo pagdating sa 2600 compared sa 3300X. Kahit na in the previous benchmark na ginawa natin kanina with the GTA 5 with the uh, uh, Assassin's Creed, pinaka-bottom yung 2600. Pero dito sa Shadow of Tomb Raider, dito natin ngayon ma-appreciate yung kanyang more cores and more threads performance pagdating sa Shadow of Tomb Raider dahil mas stable po siya. Ibig sabihin, better frame times, less stutter ang may encounter natin dito sa 2600. Dito ngayon papasok ngayon kung bakit wala dito yung 3200G and the 3400G. Dahil po, ang ginamit ko po na video card dito is the RTX 2060 Super mga kaibigan. And nakita natin dito mga kaibigan that this 3300X can drive that RTX 2060 Super without any concern in terms of bottleneck. Pero pag ginamit na natin yung 3200G, dito ngayon makikita yung bottleneck, which is nagda-drop talaga yung FPS. As in, makikita mo talaga na pumapalo na lang ng 40 FPS yung average nung 3200G. That is the reason kung bakit hindi ko nasinamang muna yung mga APUs. Pero... Huwag kayong mag-alala mga kaibigan, this is just the first video. Marami pa pong videos na i-release ko na ipapakita ko kung how is the advantage para pagdating ng araw, you will not buy the wrong Ryzen 3 processor. Pero dito medyo weird din mga kaibigan. We have the 3500X with uh, higher FPS than the 2600 pero more threads of the uh, Ryzen 5 2600 overtakes yung 1% low ng 3500X pero not all games kasi dito lang talaga medyo maganda yung performance na pinapakita sa atin ng 2600 of course the 10400 uh, is uh, at the top of the game pero yun nga the price is really off compared to this processor pero syempre dinagdag pa rin natin dyan yung Intel para at least uh, you have the basis na 3300X can also uh, match with the worth 10k plus processor of intel and uh, dito sa ghost trek on wildlands dito natin nakita mga kaibigan yung uh, 3300x pumapangalawa lang siya or pumapangatlo sa 3500x and 10400 that have this uh, higher benchmark and a uh, very close match actually uh, to cut it short mga kaibigan in terms of gaming talaga <laughs> cpus is uh, not uh, delivering a significant advantage over the other. Now, of course, let's go for the 3D rendering, which is uh, dito medyo uh, magiging interested naman yung mga kasamahan nating mga engineers and architects. Ngayon, kung uh, more into structural ka or mga simple uh, layouts or uh, perspective, pwede mo rin sigurong i-consider itong 3300X. Pero, take note mga kaibigan that the 3300X is just inferior sa 2600. So, if you want to go For a better processor at a 6K+, plus, it's better if you will just go with a 2600 processor pagdating sa 3D rendering. Dahil nga, uh, cores and uh, thread counts matters most pagdating sa mga 3D rendering apps. And uh, the frequency or the higher frequency or boost uh, performance of uh, this uh, 3300X will not really work. Dahil may, pumapangatlo lang po siya with the 10400 of course the best and the 2600 and then the 3300X. Uh, kaya ayun mga kaibigan, as much as uh, maganda siyang processor in terms of gaming, pero kung 3D rendering po ang panggagamitan, the 2600 na kadalasang nasa bottom in terms of uh, benchmark pagdating sa gaming is the better processor din naman pagdating sa 3D rendering. Pero ayun mga kaibigan, pagdating naman sa video rendering, same pa rin as uh, kanina, kung 6K plus budget ka, it's better if you will just go with the Ryzen 5 2600 habang meron pa siya sa market. Of course, mga kaibigan, ang Ryzen 5 2600 is 6K plus po siya dahil meron pong price cut. Uh, kaya kung tutusin, kung initial release lang ang pag-uusapan, good na rin naman tong 3300X na processor. Yun nga lang, mga kaibigan, merong 2600 na nag-seal. Kaya 2600 is the better processor in terms of production uh, for video at saka 3D rendering. Pero kung uh, wala lang yung 2600, na sale at ang kalaban niya lang is 3500X of course the bottom or pinakamababang uh, Ryzen 5 3500X is hindi siya bibenta sa market compared sa 3300X at a 6K plus price point kasi yung 3500X is uh, almost 8K and ito is 6K pagdating sa production almost on par lang sila 
sometimes dun sa 3D rendering, mas maganda pa tong 3300X. Nakita natin na yung higher thread counts beat the higher core counts ng 3500X. Very accurate po yan na benchmark mga kaibigan. 3 pass po ang ginagawa natin dyan. And uh, it's a simulation or a hindi po siya synthetic uh, benchmark. Talagang gumamit po tayo ng software like Blender, which is uh, actual uh, software na ginagamit ng mga nag-3D rendering. And of course, Adobe Premiere, which is talagang ginagamit ng uh, kadalasang video editors. And dito natin makita mga kaibigan that 3300X is a go-to processor kung wala lang nag-sale na Ryzen 5 Kaso lang, sad to say, nakasale ang Ryzen 5 at 6K+. Plus. Kaya as of now, habang mayroon pa yung processor na yan, is yan po yung go-to processor pagdating naman sa production. Pero kung gaming, of course, 3300X ang ating consider na processor. Now, lastly mga kaibigan is in terms of streaming. Is this Ryzen 3 3300X capable pagdating sa streaming side? Kasi nga medyo alanganin ng mga APUs like uh, Ryzen 3 3200G. Okay naman sila for streaming pero for games like Dota 2 or uh, taking advantage the uh, NVENC encoder, hardware encoders para mas makapag-stream ka pagdating sa mga Ryzen 3 na APUs. Pero papaano kung ang gagamitin mo ngayon is yung software encoder? Can this 3300X perform with software encoder only? Alam naman po natin na pag software encoder mga kaibigan, mas CPU intensive po siya. Mas madaming resources ang gagamitin sa CPU side compared sa GPU. And dito natin nakita mga kaibigan that it's roughly 60 to 70 percent ang usage ng ating CPU sa software encoder mga kaibigan ng OBS. And uh, ayun mga kaibigan, compared to the previous PC builds na ginawa natin before, malabo nating ma-reach ito. Even the Intel Core i3-9100F na dedicated processor, not, uh, kumbaga wala siyang integrated graphics, nagwa 100% siya using the NVENC encoder. So how about Call of Duty? Warzone? Ganun din ba? And eto mga kaibigan, I even tried it also with Call of Duty Warzone. Software encoder din ang ginamit natin. And yes, capable po siya. Though, ayun mga kaibigan, makikita natin na nag-hit po siya ng 90% to 100% pagdating sa CPU usage. Pero, the fact na kayang-kaya niya with that encoder only software, ibig sabihin, this processor is really a good choice pagdating sa streaming. Pero ayun, paalala ulit mga kaibigan, it's not how it works sa real world or sa talagang tamang pag stream ng mga games. It's better if you'll use the hardware encoders. Now for my final words pagdating sa 3300X, it's the go-to processor. Pero habang nandun pa si yung Ryzen 5 2600, medyo uh, ikukonsidero nyo pa rin ang Ryzen 5 2600 dahil uh, on stock pa rin naman sa ating market and naka-sale po siya. Kaya for a 6K plus pagdating sa production, 2600 pa rin. Pero kung in terms of gaming only or uh, gaming alone, then it's better if you will go with the 3300X. Yun nga lang mga kaibigan, 2600 talaga ang magko-confuse sa inyo which one to get. So, nasa sa inyo na mga kaibigan, it's your decision. And then of course, pagdating naman sa mga options, the video cards, the recommended video cards that you may consider with this uh, kind of processor, nandyan yung GTX 1650 Super. Yan yung pinakamura na may recommend ko as of now. RX 570 if meron pa and then of course RX 5500X the video card 4GB or 8GB 1660 Super pwede mo rin yung i-consider 5600 XT and then uh, if uh, budget will allow you then you may proceed up to 2060 Super pero believe me mga kaibigan RX 5700 uh, uh, video card RX 5700 XT uh, you will not experience bottleneck as uh, we have tested during uh, the benchmark. Uh, hindi ko pa na ilatag lahat mga kaibigan, lahat ng mga benchmarks ko. Initial pa lang itong mga pinapakita ko. Pero marami pa po tayong mga PC builds na ipapakita ko how far can we go with the Ryzen 3 3300X. Yun nga lang mga kaibigan, in terms of recommendation lang talaga, I think uh, you may just go up to 5600 XT or 1660 Super. Uh, kasi nga mga kaibigan, dapat pinoproportion din natin yung pagbili natin ng CPU and GPU. Not because kaya nung processor natin, to drive those video cards, yun na yung pipili natin. Mas maganda kung i-proportion mo rin. Kasi in real world, hindi lang naman po gaming yung gagawin mo. Hindi mo naman i-close lahat ng applications and play a game. Kadalasan sa atin, we will also run some uh, background applications. 
that is the re- that is the reality mga kaibigan so, sa totoo lang benchmark sometimes matters for us to have the comparison which is better product than the other pero benchmark is just benchmark in the end of the day dapat isipin mo rin ano pa ba, ba yung mga gagawin mo during that gaming time so if you have the fun to push your budget higher and kaya mo palang bumili ng higher video card then it's better if you also consider to go for a higher processor like a uh, Ayun, nirecommend ko kanina na 3500X and 3600. Or, of course, if uh, you are more into production, 3600. Pero still, 3300X at first release is not really a bad processor because it can even go on par head-to-head with the 10400 Intel at a 10K plus price point. So, ayun mga kaibigan, 3300X. Not bad processor, pero ayun, maraming pwedeng mag-confuse sa'yo during the time ng pagbibili, which is better. Ang daming nirelease ni AMD. I even don't know what to recommend anymore. Parang ang hirap ng eto ba, eto ba. Depende na lang. So, it's better to know kung saan mo gagamitin talaga yung unit. Kasi sobrang dami ng models ni AMD ngayon, which is good. Kasi marami tayong options. The more, the merrier, di ba? That's it mga kaibigan. Thank you so much. And till next video. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this.